Hi and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to make this um, Thinking of You card using the new watercolor pencils that are in the 2017 Occasions Catalog. They are just marvelous. I love them. Um, and you can use them in so many different ways. You can use them just to color with them. You can um, use them with a blender pen, an aqua painter, or as we're going to use today uh, with the aqua spritzer. And there are 13 of them come in a box, and they each have numbers on them, so you can tell um, which ones you're missing if you fail to put them all in your box. It's a great little way to keep track of them. And um, we're also going to use the Wetlands stamp set. It's an oldie but a goodie. I absolutely love this stamp set. We're going to need some linen thread, which is a nice thin... Um, linen and I think it's great for uh, like beach themes it's just great for masculine cards as well I'm going to use some early espresso ink and for paper what we need is um, this is thick whisper white which is what I like to use when I use white for a base eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter then we have a little piece of old olive cut at four and a quarter by two and a half and then a piece of the Stampin' Up! watercolor paper which is cut two and a quarter by four and a quarter. And the three color water pencils that we're going to be using are the Early Espresso, the Bermuda Bay, and the Pacific Point, which look kind of dark for this but um, it does lighten up quite a bit. And we also need um, a heat tool. So let's get started on this card. The first thing I'm going to do is take the um, early espresso and I'm just going to, not too heavy, not too light because it does lighten up a bit when it gets wet. I'm just going to run it back and forth to make my sand here. You see the texture coming out on the paper because Stampin' Up's watercolor paper is textured. I personally prefer smooth but that's what Stampin' Up! carries. So we make the best of it and we make it work. Then we're going to use Bermuda Bay. This will be the ocean. And then we're going to use Pacific Point for the sky. And again, it's not, I'm not going too dark, not too heavy, uh, but not too light because when you do wet it, it lightens up quite a bit. Okay, and there you go. And as you can see, it looks different than the final product. But it will look very, very nice. Then I'm going to protect my paper on the bottom here but with a towel. Dirty as it is because I've been playing with it all day. And I'm going to take my spritzer. And I'm just going to spritz the paper generously. Okay, and you can see when you move it, the um, watercolor pencils kind of blend in together. And now I'm going to take my, I'm going to wet this centerpiece just a bit more there because it looks kind of clumpy. There we go. And now I'm going to use my heat tool. And dry this quickly. As you can see, it does not take very long at all to dry. But you do want to get it dry um, before you start to stamp on it so that your ink will not smudge. Okay? And also when you're drying it, the paper flattens out. When you wet piece of, a piece of paper, the paper tends to um, curl. So when you dry it, it flattens it back out. So here we go. This looks so much more like that. And believe it or not, we're just about done. We're going to uh, stamp our image on it now. And I'm going to put it down here because I do want them to be a little bit on 
the sand and I want to leave room for my linen thread. Okay. You know, while I have the ink out, I'm going to stamp my sentiment as well. And I chose to use Thinking of You. You can use whatever sentiment you like. I love these grid lines on this paper. It's so helpful in trying to line your stamping up. Perfect. Now I'm going to close that up. Next I'm going to mount this on my old olive. All four sides. I'm going to butt it up to this side here. Let me get in focus here. I'm so used to mounting things where they have borders along all four edges. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is take this beautiful linen thread and just wrap it around here a couple times. One, two, three. Snip it off. Tighten it up a bit and make a knot. You know, I love having long nails, but sometimes they just get in the way of my crafting. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to mount this. Card base. I'll center that right there. And perfect. How easy and quickly did that come together? Isn't that lovely? Oh, I hope you enjoyed this card, and um, I will be making a video using these. Um, watercolor pencils in a different way as well. I am having a class this weekend, so uh, I'll be getting my um, projects ready for the ladies, and um, I'll be videotaping them. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks. Have a great day.